Hey everybody, welcome back to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast video on the Ink of Cars channel and today I'll be taking a look at the 2017 synthetic rubber tires variant of Lightning McQueen as Chester Whipplefilter. So this is one of the versions of McQueen that I've been wanting for a while now, or at least out of the Cars 3 versions of McQueen that I've been wanting solely just because it's such a unique version of his Chester Whipple filter release. It is completely matte, has a brand new expression, and yeah, I just needed it because it was going to be so much more accurate and a much better update to my original uh, metal, or full metal, I should say, non-matte, but more kind of glossy version that does have a lot of chips in it. But um, yeah, so this guy's awesome. Early Easter basket type of gift um so very very cool i know this video will be coming out a few days after easter but um anyways i'm still definitely very happy to have this one so you can see he was on the cars 3 packaging of course with the synthetic rubber tires little logo there very nice packaging with a nice kind of dirt rendering and of course he comes with two little accessory um little barrels and of course, you got the Demolition Derby logo right there. On the back side, you just get a look at all the other uh, synthetic rubber tire Demolition Derby variants we got. Liability, Airborne, Jambalaya, Chimichanga, Bill, and Superfly. So, yeah. Uh, very cool. Anyways, I'll be right back with this pack outside of the package. All right, I want to see here we have Lionel McQueen as Chester Whipple Filter with synthetic rubber tires right outside of the package. And that is just awesome. I love this Lionel McQueen so much. The matte finish is perfect. And he's just a really, really solid die cast release. So, yeah, very cool. This guy's already going to be turning seven years old this year, which is just insane to even think about that cars 3 was that many years ago it's just incredible but um yeah anyways let's kind of get straight into it so we'll first take a look at the little um fire canisters here so you can see it's just a big old one of those like metal garbage can uh pieces here of course it is all plastic no die casts in this at all but very nice little hollowed out plastic piece with that kind of orange brick like color and of course it's got a little flame on top good for display usage um for the demos and derby and then same for the blue one here just a different color for the barrel so nothing too special about those little accessories there but the biggest deal is of course this lightning mcqueen so yeah, let's kind of get straight into it. You can see this version of Chester Whipple Filter Line of McQueen has a much more scared expression than his original diecast release. Basically has this, well, essentially has the same mouth, maybe a little bit of different of an orientation, but you can see it's kind of like wide open, screaming, and then he's got the eyes there in kind of like a squinting position because, you know, he's being chased by all of these different racers. They're all crashing. And he just doesn't want a part of that. Now, that just looks very, very nice. That's very cool. Nice blue eyes as well. He's, of course, all covered in mud. So he's got to have that nice kind of brown paint job color to it. For the die cast, at least. Not essentially his paint job, but the die cast paint job. The windows, which is the side and back windows, are, of course, brown plastic pieces as well just to kind of make them look like they're covered in mud so that looks very nice and of course you can see just like his regular release the die cast mold has a bunch of tiny grooves and bumps and all that stuff to mimic the feel of dried mud and just all that rough feeling to his die cast following being of course covered in mud so yeah, very, very cool. I do like this queen a lot. Backside looks amazing. Of course, you can't forget on the sides here, he does have the number 15, which is his fake racing number for Chester Whipple Filter. 
very nice. It's red right there and then red on the other side here. And then, of course, has the matte tires. Not matte, but uh, synthetic rubber tires. So those are all synthetically made rubber. With, of course, the brown rims making it look completely covered in mud. And then he was made in China by Mattel, 345th day of 2017. So this one is essentially the, um, well, he was in kind of the earlier and last waves of this line. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that is going to do it for today's review of Chester Whipple Filter Metallic, not Metallic, Synthetic Rubber Tire Variant. I'm messing up my words today. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.